Welcome to the Proofpoint Essentials How Do I video series. Today we answer the question, how do I load users? There are three methods of loading users into Proofpoint Essentials. The first method, and perhaps the most common, is using the Active Directory connector. The Active Directory connector allows you to load users directly from your Active Directory. This will include users as well as groups. In addition, you can also use this method to synchronize changes between Active Directory and Proofpoint Essentials. The next method is the CSV upload. This allows you to load a list of users directly into Proofpoint. Finally, we have SMTP Discovery. We will talk more about SMTP Discovery soon. Now let's log in and look at each of these methods in action. When I log in, I will see the Company Settings tab, which you see here. And to make changes, I select User Config. Now once I click on User Config, you'll see I have two options, Active Directory and SMTP Discovery. The CSV Upload feature is only available to partners, so we'll demonstrate that in a moment. When selecting Active Directory, there are a few key requirements you must have. Number one, you'll need to have the Active Directory URL that Proofpoint Essentials should use for a connection. In addition, the environment will have to accept connections from Proofpoint Essentials. Therefore, you'll have to have certain LDAP ports enabled on your firewall to allow Proofpoint Essentials IPs to connect. Please check with your channel account manager or your partner contact for this information. In addition to the URL, you also require an account. This account will require read access to Active Directory. And the most critical portion here is the base DN. This is the LDAP query Proofpoint Essentials will execute in order to identify the users we're going to load. If you do not know what this should be, please contact your network administrator. Below the Active Directory connection settings, you'll see the options of what you'd like to sync. By default, Proofpoint Essentials has checked the common items that our customers use. Feel free to control which of these items you wish to load. And finally, you can choose whether you want to add these items to Proofpoint Essentials. You can also choose to sync accounts that have already been loaded with any update information. You can choose to remove accounts that have been deleted from Active Directory, and you'll notice there's an option to sync every 24 hours. Therefore, when you make changes in Active Directory, those changes will be reflected in Proofpoint Essentials. This is why the Active Directory connector is the most common approach used to load users in Proofpoint Essentials. SNB Discovery works by scanning sender or recipient addresses that match domains that you have configured for your organization. And the settings you see below this determine what we should do with those messages. If it's enabled and we identify an address we've not seen before, we will still deliver that message either to the internal recipient if it's inbound or to the external recipient if it's outbound. The options you see here identify what action Group Point Essential should take with those messages. For example, inbound detection threshold. This identifies the number of times Proofpoint should see that address before we report on it. In this case, the default setting is three. Below that, how many times you would like to be notified about an address before it expires. On a weekly basis, Proofpoint Essentials will send you an email identifying all of the accounts that we have seen that were not previously registered. With this setting equal to three, we will send you that report for three weeks. Again, this can also be changed. Just below that setting, we have some additional options. Expired addresses default to new user. Now after identifying the SMTP address three times and notifying you for three weeks, that address will become expired. Now, if this setting is enabled, then the expired address will become a new user. If you uncheck this option, the expired address will become invalid, and therefore any further emails to that address will be rejected. Any further emails from that address will also be rejected. Now at any time, you can log in to the interface, view those discovered addresses, and enable them or disable them as needed. Auto add detected alias addresses. We will identify aliases and automatically add them to the parent account that they apply to. For example, if you have loaded the user chris at moco.ca and we've identified that there's an alias chris m at moco.ca, 
will automatically add that alias to the Chris at moco.ca account. Auto add new users detected via outbound. If you are using Proofpoint Essentials to filter outbound mail, and we identify an email from an address that matches your domain but is not a licensed user, you can use this option to automatically create a licensed user from that action. Finally, reporting on new users, reporting on new aliases, these are reports that the system will send you should you wish to see a list of any addresses that Proofpoint Essentials has enabled as new users or aliases we've automatically added to a user account. Once you've got the features you like in place, you simply hit save. Now that we've seen Active Directory and SNP Discovery, let's take a look at the option for CSV. To do this, I will need to log out and log in with a partner account. I have now logged in with a different account. In this case, I now have partner admin privileges. And you'll see that there's a new option listed, CSV Upload. Now a CSV upload will allow you to copy and paste the contents from a CSV file into the text field you see here. That file can contain the user's first name, last name, primary SNTP address, as well as any aliases you have for that account. The system allows you to identify the delimiter. It also allows you to map the columns with the fields here. For example, first name is in column one, last name is in column two. And you'll notice at the bottom of this screen, you have an option to keep manual SNTP discovery enabled. This is a very common approach. You use this CSV upload process to load your initial set of users, and then use the SNTP discovery for ongoing changes. Now, if you choose to keep this option off, which you can do so, then you'll need to manually add and remove new users. To do so, you click on the Users and Groups tab. The Users and Groups tab will now show you a list of users. You can see here in this example, I have two users listed. I simply hit the Add a User button. I enter the information for that user. I choose the privileges of that user, in this case an end user, and I hit Save. Now I've created an account for that user. I've also sent them a welcome email that gives them a username and password which they can use to log into the service. Thank you very much for watching the Proofpoint Essentials How Do I video series.